So today I taught a self-reliant diver course and to my surprise the visibility at La Jolla Shores was amazing. We've had red tide for the last six weeks and it was so thick that visibility would only be like inches and you could barely see your gauges but today for some weird reason visibility decided to be at least 20-25 feet of vis all throughout the canyon. Thank God I decided to go and do a dive. I'm about a week out to my trip to Malta and I was just amazed that the visibility was just fantastic. So in my opinion the best self-reliant diver setup is side mount so I'm sporting my 50s today and the um, tuna crab are everywhere they're still hanging out in a canyon and I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that they're still around they've been around for a few months now and they still continue to thrive they're not as prevalent as it used to be but it's still fairly thick with tuna crab um, temperatures in the canyon I would say was a balmy 51 once you hit the thermocline thermocline was at around 30 feet so when you hit it you felt it and and it was very very prevalent and then when you got out of it it was really nice not like sauna nice but it was kind of like yeah I'm glad I'm out of the thermocline The students had a number of skills that they had to conduct and then I kind of let them do their own thing the second half of the three dives that we did. I on the other hand went down to go check out the uh, tuna crab and um, it didn't disappoint. I drove down to about 100 feet and um, again just a carpet of tuna crab everywhere that you looked. Glad that I did this dive because I was really starting to think that I'm not going to get a good dive before my trip to Malta. I'm still debating on whether or not I'm going to bring my rebreather or if I'm just going to dive side mount. I may just uh, choose to go side mount because it's just so much easier to travel with just minimal gear instead of having to take all that other uh, rebreather gear. But I do want to dive in my rebreather in Malta. Like I said, a ton of tuna crab. They were everywhere, and I couldn't really see any other marine life at depth. So I just kind of hung out with the tuna crab. It was a tuna crab party, in my opinion. Just me and the tuna crab and my students doing their own thing, trying to be self-reliant divers. Occasionally you'd come across these uh, crab. I don't know if they're Dungeness crab or if just red rock crab. I, I forget exactly, but they're out and about. And uh, here's my student going back to 60 feet when uh, we did the deeper part of the dive. Um, like I said, Viz was amazing. He's probably 30 or 40 feet away and I can still see him. And these are the sand dollars. These sand dollars are baby. They're like, I would say they're they're about the size of a dime, so they're not quite dollar size. Get it? Not quite dollar size. But these are baby sand dollars all throughout, um, just over the canyon's ledge. And I came across this really cool fried egg jelly. I didn't want to get too close because last year I got too close to the jellyfish and uh, it had its way with me, especially just underneath my nose. So I stayed about 15 feet away and tried to get a really good shot of this jellyfish. It was very majestic, it was very huge, and they were everywhere. This wasn't the only one that I came upon. Get out there and do some diving. Get a parking spot early because summer is in full effect. Hope to see you down below.